Hello and welcome to Monmouth in Focus, a program about the services and functions of Monmouth County government. I'm Cynthia Scott, your host for this segment of Monmouth in Focus. The Monmouth County Sheriff's Office, Office of Emergency Management, is rolling out a new program called STORM which is aimed at assisting seniors in the event of an emergency or disaster. Joining me to talk about STORM is Monmouth County Sheriff Sean Golden, whose agency runs the Office of Emergency Management. Sheriff, some, thanks so much for joining us yeah, today. Great to be here with you. Sheriff, th this is such an innovative program. Let's talk first about what STORM stands for. So STORM, we, we came up with a clever acronym, really our Monmouth County OEM coordinator, Mike Opelgart, uh, who really is one of the outstanding, probably one of the better coordinators in the state, uh, mm -hmm. said, listen, we need to do something for uh, as senior education, particularly after the storms that we endured in Monmouth County. So he named it STORM, <laughs> and it's uh, seniors Very taking good. on readiness measures. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's all about seniors taking on readiness measures, being prepared. Uh, so in the event of a, a storm or something else that may occur, um, they're ready and they have a plan and uh, they have all the information with them. So if we ask them to uh, evacuate or move or do certain things, uh, they're ready for right. it. So we're, we're really excited about the STORM program. And uh, we, we believe in the Sheriff's Office, uh, Monmouth County Sheriff's Office, as you know, has uh, led the way in uh, the national picture in the Sheriff's mm -hmm. Office when we did the ACES 911 for our seniors and we had other programs uh, taken nationally. And we feel this is one of those programs. It's Absolutely. just uh, tremendous. It's, it's a clever acronym. Uh, really has been well received around the county when we've traveled through uh, every senior center just about around the county um, during the uh, storm season um, to really educate our seniors about, you know, the readiness and preparedness. Yeah, Sheriff, you know, you know, we dealt with Hurricane Irene and we dealt with obviously Superstorm Sandy the first time we had mandatory evacuations. And if it's one thing that I, I would imagine the Office of Emergency Management learned was that People are well informed, but they don't really have a plan. Is sure. that how this came about? That's how this came about. Uh, you know, we go back and evaluate our uh, response and and our uh, recovery after each one of those storms, and we also do after action plans. And part of those after action plans, both in Irene and Superstorm Sandy, were the fact that uh, listen, we evacuated large amounts of uh, our residents uh, along our coastline. We have 27 miles of coastline. We did over 75,000. Uh, citizens that we had to evacuate in those low-lying areas and seniors are certainly part of that and one of the things that we found that those vulnerable populations the seniors and uh, our disabled uh, persons in the county um, really have a, uh, we have a difficult time uh, sure. because they have uh, special needs uh, maybe they have medications maybe they have special medical conditions uh, that need to be tended to and so that poses uh, some additional challenges for our public safety officials uh, throughout the county and so we thought uh, having a program and right in our after action report is better, better education for our vulnerable populations. And uh, the seniors and the storm program uh, certainly is here to address that and, and get the word out about having a plan. Absolutely. And basically, the Office of Emergency Management goes out to senior centers throughout the year now, educating the seniors about storm. They're not just handing out these no. kids there. So, yes, yeah, so I've been, I've been with uh, Mike Opelgard, our, our emergency management coordinator at, at a lot of these uh, senior centers uh, around the county, and it's been so well received. Really, we've had packed rooms in terms of uh, they, they, they really want the information, and mm -hmm. they want to know how to develop that kit. And so uh, Mike brings with him the forms, uh, you know, pamphlet form yep. uh, that the seniors need to fill out, and it has all that pertinent information. It's there to, it's theirs to keep. We don't want to build a database. We don't want to have it. It's, right. it's for them to have uh, so that if an emergency arises, they can hand it to a, a public safety responder. All of the information uh, about their special needs or medical conditions or medications are on there. Listen, when we were without power for two weeks after the storm, uh, one of the problems, uh, you know, uh, that we encountered with <coughs> with the senior population is the medications. Pharmacies are closed because power's sure. out. And so, you know, how do, how do we deliver additional meds or... You know, do they need to have those uh, available to them when they, we move them to the shelter, when we move them uh, elsewhere um, out of the area? So uh, those were all the questions that came up. And so this program uh, really talks about education. They fill out the pamphlet so that they educate themselves on, and it gets them thinking about what, what do they need or what did they lack during that emergency, and, and, and also the family contacts mm -hmm. and the medical contacts yeah. for the local pharmacy or physician. All of that is in the program. Once they fill that out, then uh, we come back. I mean, Mike had worked uh, very hard in securing us a grant for preparedness mm -hmm. uh, through the preparedness grants uh, from FEMA that uh, allowed us to purchase uh, readiness kits 
so that we can deliver seniors kits off off the grant. Mm -hmm. And so what they receive after they complete the plan is a is a actual readiness kit that you see in the stores. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Um, and it has every, all those items listed. I mean, you know, battery or crank radio. It has uh, you know water. It has blankets. All of those things are listed in a in a really compact kit that they sure. can carry with them. Yep. It's a ready go kit, so they can carry with them. Uh, so not only will they have the information. Um, but they'll ha also have all of those um, readiness items in the kit that are listed on ready.gov. It's so important to have this kit. You know, before a storm, there's panic. People are rushing to the <clears throat> store. People are rushing to find a kit to find the items. And, you know, sometimes there's not that yeah, much left. Yeah, there's always a run. There's you always know? a run on, on, the, on the stores mm -hmm. uh, prior to the storm. And, again, I, I think it comes down to, you know, when we, when we really stress in our education, uh, be informed, get involved, have a plan, mm -hmm. and and build a kit. And you know, some of the kits are readily commercially available. Right. Uh, this is a program again that we had uh, secured a grant for, and so um, part, as part of the reward for preparing that uh, plan and, and that um, that course of action on that pamphlet, uh, is there, it's rewarded with a readiness kit. We go back to those senior centers and we supply. Uh, some of those uh, kits that we talked about. And obviously, Sheriff, you know, the storm is geared toward the seniors, but it's important for everyone to have this plan. It's and everyone applicable to, to everybody. Uh -huh. We stress that. You know, we did um, a lot of education po uh, post Hurricane Irene about this, and it's, it's, it's part of our educational program in the Sheriff's Office. We'll continue to stress family plan and th sure. that emergency contact information, where you can go. Uh, should you should you be asked to evacuate? And you know everyone thinks storm. It's not even about that. I mean, you could have a fire locally. Yeah. You can and we, you know uh, we could have an accident with an overturned uh, chemical, mm -hmm. and we need to evacuate the area. So uh, we we take that all hazards approach in emergency management. Uh, certainly, that type of planning and preparedness is good for any of those, right? And and uh, as are the kids. So yep. uh, we're uh, we're going to continue our mission to educate our residents here in Monmouth County. Again, I think our residents uh, really responded tremendously. You know, to give you an idea, we had uh, over 5,000 evacuees sheltered during Irene. Uh, we almost cut that number in half yes. uh, during Sandy, and we, and we attributed that a lot toward the education. A lot of people mm -hmm. uh, learned their way through it uh, during Irene, uh, you know, and, and kind of learned that hard lesson. Others said, let me take this and, and really look at yep. preparedness. Yep. Yeah, great point. Sheriff, thanks so much. What, what a great program and, and the only one of its kind in New Jersey. Yeah, so we're, we're excited really for, for it and uh, we think it'll be a national model. So thank you. Thanks so much, Sheriff. And that is all the time we have for this segment of Monmouth in Focus. For more information, you can go to www.visitmonmouth.com. I'm Cynthia Scott. Have a great day, everyone.